Could you please explain how people with a magical consciousness should behave during war? To clarify, something unbelievable is happening to witches from Ukraine, sabbats, circles, some sort of domes, curses at all and everyone, insults at Russian and Belarusian teachers, some sort of magical manipulations directed at heads of the government and soldiers. I understand that this is just the beginning. The change of a system lies ahead, and according to the science, it all will get harsher and worse. So how should one conduct themselves? Simply ignoring it is becoming impossible, and getting entangled in a magical war is pointless. Again, colleague, in magic everything already happened. If you're a mage, you will be above all of these quarrels. You would find yourself on a branch of existence where all of that already happened. What is the point of participating in a past war? But that is if you're a mage. If you're a warlock, then of course you're participating in all of this right now. And that's what you have described, such as the colleagues from the Ukrainian side do, cursing their associates from the other sides. One witch is cursing another witch. That is natural for witches, because a witch is not a mage. And neither is the warlock. Because witches and warlocks are in the thick of the things. They work with people. They cannot act differently. If you're a warlock, you will be putting all sorts of amulets on yourself, arranging protections and returning hits via mirror rollbacks back to where they came from. And you will be involved in this game of ping pong for another 20 years or so. If you're a mage, you simply elevate yourself above it all and see what all of it actually is. And participating in it is pointless, that is certain. Again, the first two lessons of the general theory of magic course, it is all described there in detail. The difference between a mage and a warlock. Take a look, listen carefully, and it will become clear to you that mages don't participate in these sorts of things. They just don't. There is no point. And there is no interest in it at all. All the interest has already been formed. Now what is left is to distribute it correctly across the space. Majors control the process so that the algorithm of transition transpires correctly. Fair, so that everyone transitions into the reality of their own idea and not a foreign one. What you have described right now are attempts, attempts not to exactly defend one's own idea, but to find it, even just to find it. But the witches are doing everything right, a witch must protect her tribe. What else is there for them to do? Their tribe is being attacked. Whether the tribe is right or wrong, whether they have sacred truth behind them or they don't, the truth, as we found out, is different for everyone. And the other side does just the same, because their tribe is being attacked. As to we are in our own truth, we are being attacked inconceivable. This will not stop. It is just people doing what they're supposed to do. Don't get involved. It is not your business. Stay in your lane. Everything will be well.